What? Liquid nitrogen. Very good. So this is the same stuff that's in the air right now that you're breathing, except it's been cooled down, right? It's been, it's, uh, it's been, the temperature's been lowered until it's no longer in its gaseous state, it's in its liquid state, okay? So I'm gonna pour some of this out into this bowl, and then I'll take it around so you girls can all take a look and see what it looks like. Is that like, like dry ice or something? Is it not, not dry ice? Yeah. Use in warts? It's not dry ice, they do use it to freeze out warts, exactly. So you can take a look, you don't wanna actually hold it, okay. um, but you can just kinda look and see what it, what like it looks water. like. Observe what it's doing, listen to the sound. You can feel cool. above it if you want to feel the cold. Just don't put your fingers in it or grab the bottom. Isn't it colder than ice? It is colder than ice. And it hurts so bad. Yeah. Oh. So, liquid nitrogen. Does anyone know how cold it actually is? Do you know what the exact temperature is? Negative 2,000 milli. Negative what? 360. Negative 360. Very close. Liquid nitrogen is negative 321 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay? Oh, Celsius. Mm -hmm. What is it, Celsius? I'm not sure. I don't know how to, I'm not, I'm not very good at converting in my head um, Fahrenheit to Celsius. But negative, so what's the freezing temperature of what? Well, no, let's say, yeah, the freezing temperature of what? Zero Celsius or 32 Fahrenheit. 32 degrees Fahrenheit, right? So anywhere above, well, you know, so above 32, Fahrenheit, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, it's going to be liquid, okay? And this, this is a gas all the way until it's negative 320 degrees. And then, only then, is it going to turn into a liquid. Nitrogen, okay? Oh. So this stuff is very cold. They do use it to freeze off warts. Uh, it's cold enough to severely damage your skin if you get it on you. If I were to kind of, you know, stick my hand in here, just stick my finger in it, what do you think would happen? It would burn. It wouldn't burn. <laughs> liquid nitrogen is cold. It doesn't burn. It freezes. Yeah. So what would happen is my finger would be frozen solid, completely totally solid. And then, if I really wanted to, I could do this. And my finger would shatter like a whole bunch of tiny little pieces. Yeah. We knew it would freeze. And then I would freeze. Yep. Yeah. I would have to. I would have to leave it in there for a few seconds. But yep. Yeah. Now uh, that makes this stuff pretty dangerous, which is why we're wearing our awesome safety goggles, and also why you guys aren't going to get to touch it. But we are going to get to do some cool things with it. Okay. Are we so, yes. Yeah. Uh, I know how she guessed the Because that's a thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to see how um, a really cold temperature, so something like uh, this liquid nitrogen, can affect different materials. Can we freeze marshmallows? Okay. We might freeze marshmallows. So. But first, I need two pennies. Would it freeze hot cocoa? Of course it would. Um, yeah, it would probably turn it, it into some sort of hot cocoa ice. It freezes. I don't have an argument. It would be These cold cocoa. cocoa. No, it'd be ice cream cocoa. Mm. Are those pennies? Yeah, these are pennies. These are pretty, ice cream. pretty beat up pennies, though. How is it dangerous that they use it on your feet? Or your, wherever you um, Doctors are very careful. They only, they make sure that it only gets applied to the wart. And so it kills off the wart until it freezes it, but they keep it from getting on the, the rest Actually, of the skin. And don't they use like a they little tiny amount? It might come back. Like, well, yes, they, they don't always come back. They're, sorry, they don't always uh, die completely. Yeah. But sometimes it works. Okay, so we're going to do a little experiment here. I have two pennies, okay? And I'm going to need two volunteers. Actually, let's get a, a difference. Uh, two volunteers to help me out with these pennies here, okay? So let's see. You want to take one of these? Which one do you want? This one? Okay. And then let's see. You want this one? Yeah. Alright, so first of all, girls, tell me what the dates are on those pennies. 1982. 1982, okay. 2006. 2006. Alright, so we got an older penny and a newer penny. <coughs> and what I want to do now is put them in some liquid nitrogen. So what am I doing to the pennies? Freezing them. Um, Interestingly, no. Is this pen what state of matter is this penny in? Copper, solid. Oh. The solid. Right? So, is it already frozen? No, it's not. It's already frozen. solid. <gasps> Actually, it is. This is really interesting, and a lot of people don't don't believe really, don't dry dry think of this. But anything that is solid is frozen. We tend to think of something that's frozen as being cold, right? Like uh, ice is frozen and it's cold. But that's not actually necessarily true. Anything that is 
solid is technically already frozen. So we're something, frozen. Something, yeah, well, parts of you, right? Your blood isn't. Um, but your skin, your bones, those things are technically frozen. They're scientifically classified as being frozen because they're in solid state. So we're not freezing the pennies, but what are we getting? No. Not melting, because no. this is very cold. We're turning them to gas. Mm, definitely not. That would require heating them up, right? Turning them into a liquid? No, that would again require us to heat them up. Oh, we're yes. just sticking them in something very cold so that they'll freeze off our hands when we touch them. No, not quite. So what we're doing is we're just making them colder, right? We're not actually changing their state. They're going to stay solid. But we are making them a lot colder. And what happens to molecules when they get really cold? They yeah. They get weaker? Um, not necessarily. Do what happens to their movement? Um, yeah. They break they, apart and shrink? They shrink, not they quite. They break a lot easier? They do break easier. So what happens is when molecules get really cold, they stop moving. And they get really, really rigid. Okay, like they stand really, really straight. So imagine if I'm standing really, really straight and you guys try to push me over, and I just, I, I don't, I can't, I'm not allowed to bend anything. Is it going to be easy to push me over? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to, you give me a push, I'm going to tip over. But what if I'm allowed to bend my knees and that kind of thing? If I can move and you give me a push, what's going to happen? Gonna, I'm just going to go like this, right? Or I might go like that. And you're not going to be able to push me over. Does that make sense? So things that are really, really cold are very brittle, meaning they break a lot easier because of that. So, let's start. Um, no, not necessarily. They're both going to be about 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's go ahead and start here with the 1962, or 82 penny. Who had the 1982 penny? Oops. Hi, Emma. Emma, come on up. All right, so what I want you to do, Emma, very simple. You're going to take this end of the hammer, and I want you to just give the penny a good whack. You don't need to do it too hard, because I don't want the penny to go flying across the room, but I really want you to try to break that penny. Nice. Keep doing it. Give it a couple of whacks. See if you can really dent it or put some, uh, put some, do some damage to it. Ooh, wow. All right, nice. Good job. Okay, you can go ahead and put that on the hammer. All right, so let's warm it up just a little bit. Isn't that cold? Okay, it's a little cold. So let's take a look. Did she do some damage to the penny? This oh, this little right. bit was already there, but the middle part wasn't. You guys see? Yeah. 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 So she she kind of destroyed it in his face. He is now disfigured. <laughs> 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 Emma, why couldn't you have destroyed the house thingy on the back? That's scary. There we go. Okay. Now let's have. You're the other Grace. No, you're Alex. Come on, Alex. You've got the 19, 19 or 2006 penny, right? Okay. So I should do the same thing. Don't whack it too hard because we don't want it to fly across the room. But give it, give it a good whack. Whoa. Whoa, do it again. Whoa. Okay, let's take a look at that. I didn't mean to. You didn't mean to. Destroying US money. That's like a crime. Actually, yeah, I have a question. As long as you as long as it's a, a penny or less, if it's not, it's not a crime. Wait, I have a question. What yeah, if you freeze your penny or you wait until it melts? Mm, no, you kill when you freeze it like that, you kill it. You kill the nerves and the Oh no, it dies when you get all your fingers dead. <laughs> How many times did Alex hit it? Three. Three? Like three. Or twice, two or three times. And uh, did, it, did it look like she was hitting it as hard as Emma did? No. No. Look at the difference though. All right. Emma managed to, to dent her penny. She put a couple dents in it. But it most certainly did not break up 